I give you all my piece of black history from my hometown in Norfolk, Virginia, I would like to take the opportunity to wish everybody a happy love day, happy Valentine's Day, and happy Valentine's Day to all of our pages. So a bit of black history from my hometown, Norfolk, Virginia. In April of 1951, African-American students protested outside of their school in Farmville, Virginia for better education to escape the horrible conditions they had been enduring at school. 30 days after their protest, the NAACP filed a lawsuit to end segregation on May 23rd, 1951. It took three years after that for the U.S. Supreme Court to rule in Brown versus the Board of Education, stating that segregation in schools was unconstitutional. On August 27, 1956, Governor Thomas B. Stanley created the Stanley Plan, which threatened to stop funding for schools that plan to integrate students. Hmm, that sounds familiar. The Virginia General Assembly enacted legislation in 1956 implementing a policy known as massive resistance. In response to United States District Court Judge Walter E. Hoffman's refusal to defer the admission of 17 black students to six Norfolk Junior and Senior High Schools on September 27, 1958, Governor J. Lindsey Allman Jr. closed Granby, Maury, and Norview High Schools, as well as Blair, Northside, and Norview Junior High Schools, thereby, thereby crippling the Commonwealth's largest public school system at the time. Leaders in the black community J. Hugo Madison, Vivian Carter Mason, and Hortense Wells, among them, established a school in First Baptist Church Butte Street to ensure the 17 students were able to continue their education. Following rulings by the Virginia Supreme Court, the United States District Court, and great pressure from the community, the schools reopened on February 2nd, 1959. At the time, the 17 black students were admitted to formerly all white schools to resume their education. The names of the students who came to be called the Norfolk 17 were Lewis Cousins, Oliver Driver, Lavera Forbes, Patricia Godbolt, Alvarez, pa Alvarez Frederick Gosenald, Andrew Heidelberg, Dolores Johnson, Edward Jordan, Lolita Portis, Betty Jean Reed, Johnny Rouse, Geraldine Talley, James Turner, Carol Wellington, Claudia Wellington, and Patricia Turner, who is better known as Pat White, a wonderful and impactful biology instructor at my high school alma mater, Booker T. Washington High School in Norfolk, Virginia. Their courage and determination to preserve, to persevere in the struggle against segregation and discrimination despite their young ages and their race stands as an enduring inspiration to all. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.